Hey guys, what's up? Will here, and today we are back inside Doodle World for the Doodle World One New Doodle Tournament. We are joined with Ender and Headshot. Let's get into this. But first, we do need to quickly explain the rules for anyone new here. Please go back and watch the rest of the videos in this series. Trust me, it will make you a lot more involved in this than if you just watch like this, and it's just one random round in the quarterfinals. Basically, for each fight, you need a full team of six doodles, and they need to be six unique doodles. So I can have Scrappy. And Clanky and Clangitang if I really wanted to. Seeing as although they're evolutions, they are still different noodles. But I can't have two Scrappies or two Clangitangs. But then with each new round, you need a different team with even more unique doodles. And since there's five rounds for the winner, they will need to make use of 30 different doodles. So obviously there will be some very special teams there. Cool strategies may be played. So yeah, let's just get straight into this. Yeah, he gets rid of Springling as he really should have done. Sends out Octana. If Mind with Toad stays in, then that's going to be a fat counter. Okay, Humbiscus is sent out. I really don't think Humbiscus is uh, that great. But that's just because I see him random out level 50 and that's got a bad moves that I don't know, we'll have to see. It goes against Morphra. And it doesn't like and it doesn't get great damage off. Okay, so nothing happened in that game. Yep, okay. So, Amiscus is gone. Magmatoid is sent back out. Morphra is then taken out. Or Octonaut. So, yeah, I think Octonaut's being saved solely for this Magmatoid right now. Tsunami did some alright damage, really not amazing as it's the most powerful move there and it's not even weak. I just don't think that the party box is going to be that great. Okay, so he sends out Clank Tank. Ender just boosted his party box stats and now he's sending out uh, Coco Squid. Retribution doesn't really do much damage and because of use crowns most of it. Clank Tank's then sent out. Well, Coco Squid. I don't know why Headshot would do that because Ender has boosted Magic Attack. So one Tsunami will be doing a lot more damage than Headshot Tsunami. But you know what, let's see how this goes. I personally would have switched to Volt 2 rather than Coco Squid, but hey. Okay. So he sends out Exoval. Was it his trait? It wasn't. What's the point in using it then? And also sacrificing it. Okay, so Voltage is sent out here. Does he want to keep his magic attack? Or risk trying to go for the kill? Use a shockwave. Okay, Ender stays in. And he actually ends up doing more damage. Okay. He uses Protect. Very smart, because he can get a little bit of health back from the use ground. And also it kind of just stalls. Why would he switch? Actually, okay, it doesn't do anything. I just don't get why he'd switch there, because he lost all of his magic attack. If Headshot Springling is hidden trait, then he's not going to be able to kill it. Ah. Uh... I would say boost magic attack once and attack. Because magic attack buff in this is amazing. Okay, straight for tsunami with a crit. Gonna need two more hits. Crit or no crit. Uh to kill. So yeah, boosting magic attack probably is the way, seeing as they're gonna be weak against each other. But yeah, he's just trying for the kill. Oh, I think he needs two more, not just one. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention. I think Headshot boosted Magic Attack, which would explain why he's been doing so much damage. 
Yeah, uh, and he uses Protect. It's not really doing much except giving him a little bit of extra health. Okay, he just about finishes off headshots. Kogo Spud. I'm guessing Spring will get sent out here. Or Volta too, I guess, but that's one hit. Okay, yeah, Volta G sent out, but it is only one hit, as I said. Swap Tar might have speed, so he could switch to Swap Tar. I don't really know. The thing is, Ender should be able to live one hit from this Volt 2. So, he might as well just attack. Yeah, okay, he switched out. That's no damage though. What's this switch gonna be? Wait, who's dead? So, there's Exoval and Coco Squid on Headshot's team. And... Is it party bug on Ender's team? Okay, so yeah, Volta 2 is now dead as well. So yeah, that means Clangy Tang, Brainling, and Morphra. Oh, that's left for Headshot. Coco Squid would be amazing here for Ender. Don't know if he wants to risk it with the Springling though. Honestly, I would just keep a Magmatoad here. It is faster, so it might be able to get some good damage off, and it will also be an easy switch in. He switches out. Why? Okay. doesn't do too much damage he gains more back Klang Tang uses shatter which is the most power it has in a move I don't know if Klang Tang will kill it here or if it's gonna be just about left alive I think a crit would kill the Kogo squid here but if not Klang Tang will die he might try and switch out the Klang Tang I don't know oh is a forfeit from Ender, which means Headshot wins. Headshot will be moving on to the next round, which is the semi final. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. That's a bit scuffed. Um, yeah, hopefully, the next video people stay. The thing is, Ender was winning as well. I don't know if that was some sort of deal there, but yeah. See you guys in the next round. Bye bye.